fundamentals, okay, are only important, right? Only important from the trading aspects if technicals continue. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's back test really quickly. Uh, yesterday, first close below uh, the $50, well $50, 50 50-day moving average, both on the QQQ and on the SPY obviously is not a good thing. Uh, we discussed in pretty much a nausea what happens when we close below the 50-day moving average and build below the 50-day moving average. All you got to do is reference this point right here when we lost the 50-day moving average on 411 and went kind of sideways for the next uh, four or five days. And that is not a good thing for the bulls. We, keep, we kept on talking about uh, last night on the video, the market doesn't need to go straight down, but it's going to have a hard, hard time going back up because we're into supply. That's the whole point of supply. There's emotional buyers keep on buying from technical sellers and they're selling them into supply. There's more inventory uh, available and that's not a good thing. Eventually, uh, the bears, you know, really, really take over and start really aggressive move down. That's exactly what we saw for about four or five months. And, you know, then we broke above the 50 day moving average, which is the upside of or the opposite side of what happened on on april and we rallied for the next month and only to lose it yesterday and this is the second consecutive day we are below it not only on the queues not only on the spies but now we are seeing other industries right this is not just regulated to uh technology shares and growth companies that shouldn't have been at higher levels that's the argument uh to begin with in the first place and now we are starting to look at companies that has nothing to do uh with the with, with technology you're seeing caterpillar the same thing right here's the common denominator caterpillar second close below the 50-day moving average aig second close below the 50-day moving average avb right these are three different companies and three different industry groups that have nothing to do with each other, but at the bottom line is it's the same common denominator, the 50-day moving average. That is a super, super important level uh, that we've discussed in nausea, that we've told, uh, you know, we've told investors what happens if we close the 50-day moving average. And again, the cheat sheet, in case you didn't watch uh, the video, even, even last night, uh, again, above the 50, good. Below the 50, bad. And again, nothing is going to go down in a straight line. But the longer that we base below the 50-day moving average, you're going to have a higher probability of lower prices. And here's the crazy part is not, you know, not everything is below the 50-day moving average. There's still uh, companies that are still way above, and that's going to give us a trade for next week. But even though uh, we are still going lower, and again, people are going to make the excuse as well. People are going to be on vacation. Price action is price action. It doesn't make a difference how it gets there. The scoreboard is the scoreboard. And if you see the common denominator, right, this light, light blue line, that's the 50-day moving average. You look at a bunch of stocks, a bunch of stocks, what happens when they close below the 50-day moving average? Well, let's go. Let's, you know, let's talk about those names. And again, a lot of these names are going to be semiconductor related, but look, right here's amat right here's the 50-day moving average what happens when it got below the 50-day moving average lower right in a video which has been an absolute monster mover now for the last three four days what happened lost the 50-day moving average lower you got microsoft losing the 50-day moving average right lower you got amd again just again you could go through the whole thing right amd that that confirmed yesterday lower you got marvel again another semiconductor right got below the 50-day moving average lower you got google below the 50-day moving average right lower and that's the point the 50-day moving average is going to give you a really good sample size of what happens for the next you know for the for near-term sentiment right this is not the five-day moving average is giving you an indication of short-term sentiment you could clearly see how one day they could reclaim the five and the next day they lose the five that really doesn't make a difference but when you have a big body of work right such as the 50-day moving average it's going to give you a glimpse of what happens in your near-term future and now we're only right only day two we're making a nice little bet here we're going sideways and the key is the longer we stay on the close below 304, 303 area, the higher probability you're going to start seeing 
right? Lower prices, and that's a very, very important key. So we got SPY out of the way, right? We got uh, the Qs out of the way, and now we're talking about speculation money, right? Speculation money is the IWM. The IWM today, again, this is the first close on the 50-day moving average, right? If tomorrow they start building below this 183 level, again, why do you think the IWM is gonna be different than the Qs? Why do you think it's gonna be different uh, than the S&P 500? Why do you think it's gonna be different than any other stock that lost its 50-day moving average that you've, you've seen obvious evidence what happens when that area uh, gets violated and, and, and technical damage occurs? Again, nothing is going to be safe because technical analysis is not subjective and that's exactly what's happening here. So the longer we build a base, we started talking about this yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, we started talking about that uh, yesterday on the video, the longer the bulls cannot reclaim back the 50 day moving average, the higher probability uh, we go lower. And that's a very, very uh, concerning thing, especially if you are a longer term investor, right? I, we, we talked about uh, two days ago, what happens you know, before this happens, right? Start taking precautions, maybe start lighting up your inventory, maybe start hedging uh, your longer term holdings with some cues, spies, whatever you, you, your, your, your concentration area is. But again, you don't need to be a deer in headlights, just like people were right over here saying, well, it only closed the first day. It's not really a big deal. Ah, you know, it's not a big deal, you know, two days, right? It's not a big deal, two days, not a big day, three days. Eventually it becomes a big deal, right? And it doesn't become two, three days. It becomes two, three, four months a very, very aggressive selling. And again, if you believe fundamentals, you know, fundamentals outweigh technicals, well, yeah, that might be true for the long, long haul. But keep this in mind, fundamentals, okay, are only important, right? Only important from the trading aspects if technicals confirm fundamentals, all right? It's not the other way around. So it's very, very important. You could have the greatest company in the world, but if it starts losing the 50-day moving average, it's gonna, it's gonna have, it's gonna replicate exactly the same thing uh, as everything else. So for every company that's still, that already is below the 50 day moving average, look how many names going into next week are still above it, right? And if they start to fold, these are the darlings, right? You got Tesla's. Tesla is still above the 50 day moving average. But again, if it closes below, just like everything else in this light blue line, it's gonna be a problem. Apple is hoarding more cash than anybody in the whole universe, right? Still above the 50 day moving average. Again, it's not gonna make a difference that they're selling three trillion iPhones, right, in one quarter. The point is if they get below the 50 day moving average and we don't know if it will, but don't we have to, again, like I say, don't we have to at least prepare for it, right? Amazon, they sell everything from blow up dolls to microwaves to, to dirty bath water, right? Phenomenal company. There's nobody, you know, there's nobody gonna turn around and say Amazon is crap, the stock should go to zero. But at the same time, the 50 days, the 50 days, the 50 days. So again, we're maybe one or two days away from testing this 50 day moving average. And if this thing gets below, again, there's a lot of room down as well. So again, you don't need to be, you know, you don't need to be a criminal of society. You don't need to be, you know, a bad human being. You're just trading both sides of the market. And that's all we talk about when the market was good and the bulls reclaimed the 50 day moving average to the upside right here, this 296.75 level, we removed the sell button. That's the whole point. You got buy bias and this is what happened to a whole month rally. But now that we're below the 50 day moving average until we get back above, again, I have no bias in this tape. I don't care if the market goes up, down, definitely don't want it to go sideways, but I don't care which way we go as long as we have a trend. And we're definitely developing a trend. Two days below the, 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 the 50 day moving average, tomorrow will be day three. And if we start violating, right? If we start violating uh, below you know, the previous day's low of 298.40s, we're gonna go lower. I mean, that's just, just kind of just the way it is. And the most important part is don't fight it, right? And like I said uh, this morning, when we were green on the day, uh, I said this morning, I have zero interest getting long stocks until we reclaim the 50 day moving average. It's just, again, can you do it for a scalp? Can you find some things, blah, 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 blah. Those little scalps to the upside, which are, which are reverse sentiment trades, they're gonna burn your brains, right? They're gonna burn your mental equity. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna go in them with any type of size because you know deep in your heart, technical analysis tell them you're underneath supply. So you're going through the motions, rather go through the motions instead of picking out that one stock that looks strong Right. Instead of instead of the sum of the parts, look at the whole. Look at the totality of what's going on here. What the market's telling you. But yes, once we reclaim, if we reclaim back 304 on the close and confirm this 307 channel back, it's roses. Right. We're going back to, to the upside. But for now, we're building below. 
supply. We continue to build below supply for all you ETF players tomorrow. Again, watch you know watch the IWM. That 183 is the is the is the you know line in the sand. Again, there's nothing to talk about. Here's the 50-day moving average, 183. If this thing starts belowing below the 153 area, yeah, it's a problem, right? There's an absolute problem. It should take out steam uh, with anything that represents. Uh, speculation money. So that's it, guys. That is it. Uh, I unfortunately have to run. Uh, my son, uh, even though he starts school two weeks from now, he has his first soccer game. So I got about a 40 minute drive. Guys, God bless. Stay safe. Remember, there are no, there is no, uh, there is no video uh, Thursday nights. It's my day off. Uh, I will see you guys on the weekend video. Stay safe. Trade the market that you you have, not the market that you want. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Stay smiling. Guys, God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow.